Hi everyone, this is your art teacher, Miss Dressel, and today I am going to read for you the first drawing by Mordecai Gerstein. Some of the oldest drawings ever found were made more than 30,000 years ago in a cave in southern France. In that same cave is the footprint of an eight-year-old child, alongside it, the footprint of a wolf. For Susan with Love, your beautiful drawings open our eyes to our own imaginations. Mordecai Gerstein, the first drawing. Imagine, you were born before the invention of drawing, more than 30,000 years ago. You live in a cave with your parents, grandparents, sisters, brothers, uncles, aunts, many cousins, and your wolf, Shadow. It's a big cave. You love to watch animals. You see them everywhere. You see them at the river where they come to drink. Horses, giant elk, reindeer, woolly rhinoceroses, bears, sometimes lions, and more. You sit and watch them for hours. You see the grand white and gray clouds that drift over the valley. Their ever-changing shapes look to you like a parade of animals. Papa, that cloud looks like a woolly mammoth. It looks to me, says your father, like a cloud. When collecting stones for spearheads and knives, you think some look like animals too. Mama, this stone looks like a bear. To me, your mother says, it looks like a stone. You wonder, why can't they see what I see? At night, wrapped in deer skins, you see shadow images of all the animals again in the firelight, flickering over the bumps and hollows of the cave walls. And they seem to move. Look, Mama, galloping horses. What horses? Go to sleep. Papa, Grandpa, they're on the ceiling. Elk. There are no elk. Go to sleep. Sisters, brothers, cousins. Don't you see the rhinoceroses? No shouts everyone. Now go to sleep. They call you child who sees what isn't there. How can you make them see what you see? Every night you watch the animals on the walls. Then you dream you're running with them like one of them. One morning you're out with your father searching for stones. You wander off around a hill of huge boulders. You look up and see right in front of you, a woolly mammoth. It's not made of lights and shadows or clouds. You can smell it, warm and musky. It sniffs you with its trunk, then stands perfectly still. So do you, you're afraid to move. It's like a fur covered mountain with eyes that look into yours. And you look back and in those eyes, you see that being a mammoth might not be so different from being you. The mammoth sighs through its trunk and like a mountain walking, it turns and slowly lumbers away. You begin to breathe again. Papa, right in front of me, a woolly child, child, your father sighs. What are we going to do with you? That night, in front of the fire, as your eyes begin to close, you see an image on the wall, so big and so real, you sit up and say, yow. Huh, says your father. What's wrong, says your mother. Look on the wall. It looks like it's breathing. There's nothing, they say. Go to sleep. But look, the tail, the tusks, 
Why don't you see it? Now everyone is awake. There's nothing to see. Go to sleep. How can I make you see? And without thinking, you leap out of bed, take a burnt stick from the fire, and run to the wall. Look, here's the tail. Here, the back legs. You make marks on the bumpy wall to show them where to look. And the back, the front legs, the ears, the eye, watching us, its trunk and its tusks. Stop, shouts your father. He aims a spear at the wall. Everyone huddles by the doorway, the wide-eyed children clutching their parents' legs. I can see it, gasps your father. This is magic. No, Papa, you say. I'm just showing you. And you look at what you've done. You have made the world's first drawing. Yes, you say. It is magic. Even today, people are still doing it. And that's how, if you'd been around more than 30,000 years ago, you might have invented drawing. And it's still magic. Author's note. In 1994, a cave was discovered in southern France. On its walls were drawings made more than 30,000 years ago. 15,000 years older than all the other drawings known at the time. Instead of being simpler and cruder as would be expe expected, this newly discovered work was, if anything, more beautiful and elegant than what was done later. In the same cave, a human footprint was found, that of an eight-year-old child. Of course, no one knows exactly who made the world's first drawing or how it happened. And there are new discoveries being made all the time of drawings that might even be older than those found in this cave. But for someone who has drawn all his life, it has always seemed obvious that whoever invented drawing must have been a child. It's hard to imagine children not drawing. But how many adults do you know who draw? When I read of the child's footprint in the cave, I said to myself, aha, I was right. This story is my imagined version of how and why drawing was invented. Drawing is the method we have to show others what we see and how we feel about what we see. It is a way to explore and share the vast, invisible world of our imaginations. And to me, that is magic.